Welcome to another video. I'm Mariah. This is Kyle. <laughs> I've never introduced him to the vlog, but hmm. we just did Cycle Bar and that just murdered me. <laughs> oh my god. I struggle with my asthma. He struggles with his heart rate. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys the song. For me, the song of the ride. It was easily Sam Smith, Money on My Mind. Money on my mind. The instructors love Kyle. Like, I know you bring the energy, but I think it's kind of a crush for sure. No, but it's the energy. <laughs> it's the energy, but they have a crush on your energy. Yeah. Because they're like flocking. They love you. Are you closing? Yeah. Oh, sugar. I think this is cute. And then we get another glass. Raspberry? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see this. This one? Oh my god, I love these. So that's adorable. And do we want this one as well? Yeah. shop market as well haul. We had Kyle's bills bag which is fun. Usually I would go to a far farmer's market with like a tote bag but this works too because we're supporting the bills. We've had an old eucalyptus in our shower for how long? Months? Oh months. Months. Mm -hmm. I've been too lazy to take it out and it doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't really do anything for us and we're just like seeing like old eucalyptus in our shower every day so we got new eucalyptus this is the farmer's market one by the way we got hamburger beef natural beef for our hamburgers tonight we're doing like a whole cookout with our friends because we have grills in like a whole pool area clubhouse area it's really fun we like have like a bonfire it's really fun so we got some natural beef i have never been a tomato girly like if there's a tomato in my pasta sauce like i'm putting it to the side but recently I've really been loving like them just like alone. I think before it was more of a texture thing and now I like, I can do it. So we got like a full, really healthy tomato. 
that we can do is use as like a snack or on the side of like pasta or something. Cherry tomatoes are for this upcoming week because we have a cherry tomato pesto dish that we always like to make. Honestly, we love cherry tomatoes with everything. You can make them with eggs or they just look so pretty. We don't go to the farmer's market often because this would be a pretty penny if we were to do that, to be honest. Okay, some fun stuff. We got some honey. We literally love honey around here. So we got some natural honey. This is the Uncle Farm stand. So it's like from an actual farm in Maine. And then fun stuff, raspberry jam that we're going to put on toast that we have down from the Solo Italiano Market Cafe thing. And then some decor pieces. Two little pumpkins. We got a funky colored one and then we got faded pumpkin so we're gonna plop these around the the apartment all right and then we went to solo italiano market if you guys haven't been in your friend maine it's so cute i love it it's just like a pure italian market my friend works there so we wanted to also visit her we got this we're gonna cut them in half and have two each and we're gonna put a thin slice of beef in them and make like some fun hamburgers with different type of bread rather than buns. It's a sourdough, but it's an oatmeal one. This is what we'll use for our jam. I literally can't wait. I think I'm gonna make that right now. I'm gonna toast this up and plop some jam on. 350. And Kyle got some brewskis for later. So I think the perfect spot for this pumpkin is gonna be right here. So we have a pumpkin candle from Target. This vase is from Target, and these little shrubs are from Michael's. So let's put this guy. Is that cute? Adds a little touch. This guy kind of goes with these colors, so I want to find a way to incorporate him. He listen. I think it's cute. It might be cluttering the space. This is our air purifier. And then this is our frame. I literally love our digital frame. It's so fun watching the TV and then being able to see photos pop up. But yeah, don't mind all of the plants. It might be a little cluttered, but I think it works. I get so many compliments on this jacket. I wish I could give you guys a link, but I got this th like three years ago in the Waterloo, New York outlets when I went to school at Hobart, which is like Geneva, New York in the Finger Lakes area. Every time I wear it, I get compliments, so. Also, I wore my Vitality leggings. These were gifted at the time and I did have a discount code with them, but I'm currently not working with them. And they are a pretty penny. They're probably like a Lululemon equivalent to pricing, but holy cow. They are so worth it. I literally wear these all the time. And then I paired it with this crazy yoga. This is a Amazon dupe for Lululemon. I seriously love them so much. I'll definitely link and put my code on the screen if you guys want to shop through them. They're kind of thick, but I think they'll be good. Alrighty, let's get this on. Finally knew you clipped this. <laughs> the shower head is always linked in my Amazon storefront. It's like a filtered shower head. It's the best. Guys, I'm gonna show you the old eucalyptus. <laughs> it's literally so dry. This was in there for months. Months. Jam. Mm. This is good though. It's delicious. The jam is really good. Mm -hmm. You guys know the drill. What should we pick? I was finishing up Gretchen Garrity's last vlog. Ooh, cozy autumn evening routine, peaceful and aesthetic. We're gonna do Becca Watson. I might be a little too ambitious with wearing this sweater, so I think I'm gonna change this really soft Olivia Ray tee. Yeah, that feels better. So my hair is so crusty, but tomorrow morning I have a hot yoga class, so I don't wanna wash my hair. It's literally so bad. I also need to tell you guys about my freaking skin right now. Like, this is not normal. I look so patchy, it's so gross. <sighs> So first, we're gonna make this little concoction. It's Olaplex number six, and then Olaplex number seven, then bonding oil. And we're gonna mix the two and make a little hair mask on my ends. Okay, as for my skin. So 
not last night, but the night before I started self-tanning. So I decided to use a new moisturizer that I was gifted. Mind you, the moisturizer is actually really good. It's really light. It was definitely a little bit different for a cons consistency for me to put like tanning drops into them. This is the tanning drops I was using, which are my favorite, but, but I usually mix them with my first aid beauty moisturizer and i did it with a different moisturizer and it just made it so patchy i don't know if you guys can really look at that it's all on my eyebrow it's literally a horror story i look like got sunburned and everything is peeling we're gonna put this little concoction in my ends and we're at today in the back. So, now if you've seen my you'll know the hype Alrighty, we're doing a little grill out. This is the bread that we got earlier, but we cut it up into fourths and we're gonna use it as like hamburger buns. We're gonna grill out. We got the natural beef from earlier at the farmer's market. Kyle Beer. I am a full on H&M girly. This is my H&M. Call it my sleeping bag vest. Literally, it's like a parka. H&M <laughs> sweater. And then these are H&M sweatpants too, but they're so soft. And then my Uggs that I've had for like 10 years. Kyle just went to the apartment to grab some stuff and my friend Alicia and Chandler are coming to grill out with us. The trees are so pretty, they're starting to change. We got Mr. Winston with us. We brought s'more stuff for later. We're gonna put up a bonfire, hang out with some friends. And to be honest, I've really steered away from alcohol so like this is like my perfect hangout to be honest i am a gummy girl i take my gummies i took a gummy earlier just like half of one i'm just gonna vibe out alcohol just makes me feel icky even when i'm drinking i just don't enjoy it i'll do it like i'll binge drink when i want to but i like just hanging out taking a gummy and then, yeah we popped that in that could be hitting me soon and we're gonna grub This is our cooler that we got from Corksicle. I worked with them for a brand deal and I absolutely love it. It's so fun. It's like a big lunchbox. We use it for, honestly, food. We want to go to the beach and bring food and some drinks. I'm pretty sure I still have a support link. from the bonfire i just did my skincare i'll show you what product i used so i usually do tretinoin for my retinol i went with this estee lauderdale this is my second time using it apparently it's like botox in a bottle i'm waiting so long to pull the trigger on getting these shelves and we finally did And my workout, I have my Garmin. You guys know this? I think this is the Garmin Venue. I'll put it up on the screen. I absolutely love it. I used to be an Apple Watch girly. I broke two of them because they cracked by me just like hitting it accidentally. I switched over to Garmin and it's awesome. I love it, especially if you're a really big runner. But I just used my class pass to go to yoga this morning. It's so fun seeing like the progress, doing one move in the beginning and then doing an, the same move in the end and like seeing your progress, it's really fun. I had to go do one little errand for work. It's just me driving to downtown and then dropping off something and then coming back. So I'm gonna go do that and we'll get our day started. I honestly don't think we're doing much today. My boyfriend is a Bills fan and I don't really like watch football. I'm kind of there for the event. I've grown to love the Bills. My parents and family are the Broncos fans because we're originally from Colorado. That's like where my whole family is pretty much on my dad's side. But now that Kyle like, you know, boys with their football has it on and I've actually like grown to like really like the community of the Bills. So we got Winston his Bills jerseys, jersey that he's going to be putting on later. So let's go do my little errand and I'll talk to you guys later. Guys I can't believe like the one time I decided to tan before vlogging. This happens to me it's like all up in my eyebrows. I'm just embracing it at this point and just letting it kind of 
go away on its own but she looks like a drowned rat with scales on her face <laughs> here's the fit too this is tlf i paired it with this crazy yoga tank it's just very thin and cinches on the side I was in the area and I've always wanted to try Lenora's like breakfast. A fun Mexican place. I wouldn't say like fully Mexican, but like fun tacos and stuff. So I got two breakfast tacos to go and they literally had it all prepped and everything. Mm -hmm. I was gonna make breakfast at home. It's kinda like if we're on a date. It's a solo date, but we're on a date. Okay, we just got home. So recently I've been tracking my cycle because I got off hormonal birth control and I've been kind of struggling with my ovulation period. Like when am I really ovulating? My temperatures don't really match up and then my LH strips, which is what this is, it's basically a pregnancy test, but for your LH hormone that you have a surge before you're gonna ovulate. So it tells you like in the next 24 to 48 hours, you will be ovulating. I'm gonna make my coffee, my coffee. We have an espresso machine at our clubhouse in our complex that we can use. So we like literally filling up a glass jar and having it for the week. And then, like I say, every vlog, this is my go-to creamer. It is amazing. You don't even need milk. Sometimes doing it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just put like a little splash of milk. This is also Trader Joe's and it's just whole milk. So I like doing a double shot of espresso. Put it pretty much to halfway on the marker of the mason jar. Shake up the creamer. Put it up to the second to last line. Front part, shake her up. Ice. That was a lot more than I wanted. Spice. What's up, my babes? Ooh, yes. My at home coffee. Literally, I can't stop thinking about it. It's kind of bad. I look too much for it. Wait, I look forward to it too much. <laughs> I'm gonna just chill outside and um, you know, go on socials. I haven't really been on my phone. It was kind of nice because my phone was dying during the grill out yesterday and I just had Kyle because he had to run to the apartment. So I was like, just put it on the charger please. And I was like away from my phone, literally so disconnected. I had him bring back my camera too. So like you guys were gone. It was just really nice to just like kind of put away electronics and kind of just be in the moment. So I haven't really been on my phone, more of the story. <laughs> What's the one to say hi? Good boy, you have your toy? Ready for game day? Oh my gosh, you gotta put on your jersey. The bells, the bells, the bells make me wash out. Oh, that is putting it funny. Yeah. Quarterback of the bells. Go with it. Go, baby. All right, base. I've never done this, but we're gonna do an ASMR morning skincare real quick. Last but not least, we're doing some clear gel on my eyebrows. And guys, look how bad my neck is. It's just separating like how my face did because I used the same moisturizer and tanning drops on my neck as I did with my face. And it's just completely separating. But that was fun. This is my skin. Don't mind the tan again. Kyle's getting ready for the Bills game. <laughs> But my birthday was the 21st, so we still have that up there. I am a robe chiller. She chills in that robe. I chill my robe a lot. <laughs> Sunday game 
snackies. We got gushers. These ropes are so good. Oh my god, watermelon. Whoa, they changed the flavoring. Watermelon berry collision. Yummy. Hair boost. Can't go wrong. Good picks. Thanks. Guys, I've been using this detergent that I mentioned last week, last vlog, and it smells really good. But it doesn't like have that strong fragrance, you know? And so far so good with my sensitive skin. Kyle got this for me off of Etsy. I get so many compliments on it because it's so like retro, I guess. So my toxic trait is folding clean laundry and never putting it away. I won't say never, but it takes me forever. Usually it's either right there or right here. But yeah, that's kind of a toxic trait of mine. This is crazy. That's so fun. The fact that this is live. Oh my god, they're dancing. Oh my god, it's like you first down marker. Oh. It's like the 10 yards. Oh my god. Oh my, the coaches. Yeah. The aliens are on the side, and the coaches look like they're right. Stop. <laughs> oh, so that was a deflection? Yeah. Look at the claw there. <laughs> the claw's awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Oh uh, god. Um I I see him in my head. It's not like but it's Sid. I literally saw him in my head. I, I knew it was him. like some lame name. <laughs> Didn't know that one. We got to rewatch these. Yeah, now it's making me want to watch Toy Story. Like it's, it needs marketing. Yeah. It's, crazy. <laughs> it's it's really funny how they do the interaction. Bond them closer together to see the started slow. Well, expectations were high entering this season. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh-oh. Did I not record that? <laughs> Forgot to turn on our air purifier. Oh, look at us. So special. Just making a snack. We have 20 minutes until game time. I will always remind you guys of this board, this cutting board. It goes on top of the stove. Or if you have a gas stove, it has like little prongs to like lift it up so it can still go on a gas stove. It's seriously the best thing ever because it's huge. You can put it on top of your sink to create a little bit more counter space. Just a little snack. Yummy. So I've been working with a content creator, Nikki Font, for what, like two months now? And her next youtube video is going to be a week of workouts and i edit her videos off and on sometimes we're going to do some research i'm going to watch some youtube videos of week of workouts so i can kind of get the feel of like how others edit that type of content <laughs> just went to the beach and it was so wholesome and now we're heading over to a friend's house. Well, just an apartment over. <laughs> mm -hmm. 